Hi, Freddy here. You might be wondering, where was the Bowser stream yesterday? Because that was supposed to be the next day I were to stream the Smash characters and stuff like that. Uh, one thing I ended up kind of quickly realizing, and you can kind of tell by like my overall energy within the past few uh, streams I've been doing, and that is just like, I'm not having fun with these. <laughs> At the start, I had a lot of fun. Uh, it was really fun all the way up to, I want to say, Fox? Uh, then after that, I just kind of lost a lot of energy about it. Uh, what helped reinvigorate a bit of that, though, was scheduling out all the uh, uh, individual uh, days I would uh, do the streams. Like, I specifically uh, went every other day in my Google Calendar and... Uh, made it uh, where I, you know, looked at all of them, made sure that uh, uh, I would have enough to do most of the characters, since not all of them by the time the game releases. I also had a bit of room for up to like 70 characters scheduled in, uh, and stuff like that, and uh, that did help a bit, because it helped contextualize a lot of it for me, but... I, I'm just not having fun with the streams, and uh, some may say it's like, oh, is it because your Zelda streams are doing a lot better because they have more consistently better views? No, in fact, I wouldn't even dare say I want to do those streams even less uh, compared to the Smash drawing streams uh, because I find it a lot harder to consistently stay talking in them without like sounding redundant. Because like sometimes with the Zelda ones, I end up repeating a lot of the things I say, a lot of the same tips, a lot of the same things, over and over and over and over again. Uh, and, uh, I know some people like them, but I, I just don't want to play it. Well, I still want to play Zelda. Um, Zelda's fun, but, uh, just not on stream, and it's just like, uh, um, one thing I kind of realized from doing these streams is that I'm better at short-term projects. Like, when it, when, when it comes to a video, if I can start the video, recording it, planning it, and editing it all in one day, even if it takes most of the day. Uh, like for example, with that April Fool's video that I did, that took literally just a full day. Uh, full day of recording, full day of drawing, full day of uh, editing, all in one, not full day's worth of each step, but like all together it was a full day's of work. And uh, it was really fun. And I felt really satisfied with the video. Um, but when it comes to uh, these long-term projects ends up being like really hard which is somewhat scary for me because I don't want that to be the case because as some may know I want to write stories I want to draw manga I want to tell long uh, interesting stories and stuff like that or at least uh, more than like 10 chapters worth uh, and that ends up being kind of a bad thing because guess what ends up happening uh, I don't end up uh, if I, I if I can't keep that motivation to keep doing it, uh, especially for someone that's you know longer than two weeks, uh, then it just ends up being really hard to keep going with it all. Uh, I'm impressed that I was able to get this far. I was really happy with how consistent I was. And it's not just oh I missed it yesterday and it was just oh I'm now down on myself. Like I said, uh, it comes down to a lot of the. Uh, just uh past couple of streams the past zelda streams the past smash streams i was thinking like oh what if we just cut the zelda streams and stuff like that so uh but even then it's just like i still don't want to do the streams uh, i still want to keep doing the smash drawings themselves i like i like the drawing themselves like but i think what i might end up doing instead uh is not plan to do all the characters before the game releases and only do them when I have the energy to. Uh, Bowser is still next. Uh, I'm not going to skip him. Uh, I will do them all in order. It's just that uh, it's going to be going at a lot slower pace and it's going to be based on my motivation because I just want to be happy with the drawing. I, was with, I wasn't happy with how the Kirby drawing came out. Uh, I was decently happy with the Peach and uh, Daisy drawing, uh, but there's just a few drawings that I just weren't happy with and uh it was because i wanted to get the string done 
uh, because I wanted to stop streaming and I wanted to do everything in one stream per character and stuff like that. So because I think stuff like the Kirby one ended up being really hurt. Uh, uh, I'm not so happy with the end pose with Peach and Daisy. I'm just happy with the drawing itself. Uh, there's just a lot of things I just end up either cutting corners with or stuff like that. And like you might not see it, but I see it very heavily. So it's just, I want to, uh, uh, the Ness one also really did not like how it turned out. Like, I like the Ness drawing himself, I just didn't like the background. I like the idea of it, uh, because, you know, Ness has the home run bat, he's at the home run contest arena, he's about to smack Sandbag in the face, but I didn't end up drawing Sandbag, uh, like I wanted to, and I did not, uh, do a really good job at the background. Uh, which is just a general weakness that I have, is just backgrounds in general. And uh, plus with these streams, another thing that ends up uh, negatively affecting me is that I don't draw outside of them. I, I do little doodles, like uh, with Peach and Daisy, I did some doodles of both of them because they have complicated dresses. But even then, I did not do Daisy's dress, and I really simplified Peach's dress. Uh, not as simple as in the mainline games, but more simple uh, compared to the Smash games. So... Yeah, I ended up skimming out a lot of stuff like that, even though I practiced for it. Uh, I even did, like, uh, yesterday I tried to uh, draw Bowser a bit based on this Smash render, just so I can get used to his face, because he has a really complicated uh, jawline. It's really weird. He, he also has a double chin. Uh, or is it called a cleft chin? Like, you know, when it's, like, separated, like, roughly where my beard is. Kind of, like, too bumped. Anyway. I have like chip stuff in my mouth. It's kind of annoying to talk. Anyway, point is, uh, yeah, I don't want the Bowser drawing to suffer because uh, I I don't really enjoy drawing Bowser in the first place, so that also really doesn't help. But because it, he's going to be somewhat complicated to draw because he has very specific proportions and his shell is uh, kind of weird, uh, especially how in games his shell bends. Uh, so it will be hard to come up with a pose with him uh, that isn't just the smash render. I don't want to do the screenshot copying like I did with the first few. Uh, I might even redo the first few uh, characters as well, just so that they have also have unique poses. Uh, which would be Link, Sa uh, not, not Samus, Link, uh, DK, and Mario, I think, were the first three that uh, I just based on screenshots just to get the uh, thing going. Uh, but... Yeah, uh, so I might redo those guys, uh, since there are only just three of them, and I, I don't mind drawing them. Well, a bit of Link. Link is really complicated. Uh, I also really don't like having Link drawing. He's probably my least favorite of all of them. Like, at first I was really happy with it, but after I went back to it to look at him, I was like, his face is weird. Uh, and we're struggling a lot with that face. But, point is, <clears throat> the, sh the streams are not going to be as frequent as they used to be, uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to continue the Zelda streams or not. Uh, we got pretty far. Uh, we only did one beast though, but like we explored a fair bit of the map, like a good like 60, not 60 percent. We've been to like 60 percent of the regions. Like we only have like two or three more regions to get to the towers to, and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, uh, may not continue that one because I just didn't really enjoy it, and I was like, I think my fourth attempt to trying to stream Zelda or at least record it um, but I did do a lot more out of it uh, I'm happy with how far I got with it I'm trying I'm trying I just have the case right here I'm just like staring at it. it's like it's looking me in the face I usually put the game up in a different place if it's in a console uh, just so I know like what games in uh, which and stuff like that but yeah I also want to do different video projects. Like, so the streams kind of drain me, and I don't draw outside of them. And I, I've been wanting to do a few different videos, like uh, one based on like uh, where I, I even have like all the visual assets set, where I show how I would like to see how the online lobbies and online would work in Smash Ultimate, but I haven't been able to have the energy to even record that. So yeah. Uh, I have a really bad case of some cost fallacy where if I don't do something, 
for a while or if I put something off for too long, it's harder for me to get back to it. That's what some cost fallacy it is. It's like the more of something that happens, the harder it is to break from it. Like it could be, it's usually associated with money where if you put a lot of money in it, uh, you want to keep putting more money in it because you want to make sure it comes out right even though objectively you're just wasting a bunch of money and that if you do get a return it's not going to be all that much or you could better spend the money elsewhere sort of thing I even have it on a sticky note on my wall right over there uh, that says no some calls fallacy excuses uh, so yeah that's something I really want to uh, try to break from so that's another reason why I need to complete projects like in a single day because otherwise if I even put it off just for a tiny bit like it's really hard for me to get back to it and that's why I'm really conflicted about not doing the streams and doing it uh, when I have the energy to because I, I might make that excuse again for myself and that's really annoying and I don't like that I really don't uh, but yeah I'm going on 11 minutes here I should end the recording and I don't feel like getting this even though I'm paying $20 a month for Adobe Premiere, and that's wasting a lot of money for me. But I don't want it to unsubscribe to it, because what if I just want to do it again? That means I gotta pay 20 bucks right when I need to resubscribe, and that'll be hard to do, and that's a sunk cost fallacy thing, I just realized. Uh. But I also, it's motivated to make a video. So I at least try to make a video a month. If I'm really bad about that, though. Because I wanted to use, use it once per month, uh, which is not a very good exchange for twenty dollars a month. But yeah, anyway, uh, yeah, this is the video. Just kind of explain what's going on. I also tend to overthink a lot of things in my head, so I tend to like be really far ahead in my thought process about certain things so if this seems kind of suddenly it's because I think about things in the background a lot so this is some like I said I've been feeling for a couple days now anyway see you later